all right hi everyone welcome to the tutorial number nine in this video we are gonna make a classifier which will classify a dog and a cat so let's get started i have about forty thousand images uh, in my data set which i need to train my new convolution neural network so that it can identify a cat and a dog so let me show you a data set now usually when you're dealing with a data set it's very difficult you have to process the data you have to resize the data here you can see i have about forty thousand images it's which is a pretty huge data set so usually what you need to do is you need to read the each image then you need to convert that into a numpy array you need to convert the image into a grayscale you need to resize it and you have to do a lot of processing this takes a lot of time so i made a library which does everything and just using two lines of code you can do that so here you can see in my last video that is tutorial number eight i showed you uh, how to use this library and in this video we are going to make a neural network out of this library so this library will load uh, read all do all the processing with the images and will give you the x data and y data which is two lines of code so let's get started so first of all we are going to load the library so i'm going to copy all of this this is the entire library that does all the processing on images we just need to provide the path so make sure to watch my tutorial number eight so just going to paste it real quick just going to make that just paste it and run it by the way, I, I usually upload a lot of blogs on TensorFlow and Kera, so make sure to check that out. So here you can see it's right now uh, loading or running. So meanwhile, when it's running, so let it run. It takes a while because it's a huge code. It takes time because I'm also running a, a, a neural network right now side by side. So once that is done, now I'm going to, so you can see library is loaded successfully. Now we need to do is basically we need to load our data. So I'm going to say in my last video, I already taught you about this. So how to use this library. So this library you can just use by uh, saying by four lines of code. So you just give the path and you create an object of the class. Then you supply the path. Then image size is equal to 80. But if you don't supply image size by default, it will take 50. I've already taken care in that uh, in the code so here you can see this is all coded properly well coded so you don't need to worry you can just use it and get your job done <laughs> all right so once i load this this will look something like this uh, so if i run this which will take time because it's going to go through forty thousand images of cat forty thousand images of a dog so here you can see reading data set from pickle object it already has a pickle object so make sure to watch my last video because i was been talking about my library so here you see um uh, I got the the data set of the cat and dogs has been loaded. Now we need to just make our neural network that is a dense neural network. So let me bring my Jupyter notebook here, which I have already done it for you, which I have already coded everything. So here you can see from uh, TensorFlow dot Keras import sequential, and basically I am just defining a model and I am compiling my model. So here you see first is a sequential model i'm adding a convolution layer then i'm adding the activation then i do max pooling then again second convolution layer activation max pooling flatten out dense dense activation that's uh that's how my neural network um uh, convolution neural network and i simply supply um the x data here you can see here you can see input shape is x data we got this x data from my library you remember my smart library which i just did uh, if you don't want to use my library, it's fine because you have to do all of this job manually. That is, uh, read in each image and you know process all the image, convert into a grayscale, resize the image, and it will take a lot of time, effort. Uh, you have to use pandas to do that in some some of the time. It, it it's it's a headache. So why not use the library and uh, make sure to give me a thumbs up if it works for you. All right. Uh, so after uh, loading it, it will this library will give me the x data and y data. So I simply supply x data to my uh, Keras module, and here you see it's training. Uh, this usually takes about uh, 30 minutes on my computer. My computer is a little bit slow, so it will take 30 minutes. So here you can see it's right now. I'm just running for three epochs, and the accuracy is about 70 percent. I can I got an accuracy about more than 85 percent. Uh, if I run it for a long time, so I have a be very beautiful Jupyter notebook created step by step, uh, which shows uh, examples. So let me show you that. So here you can see I've already trained my neural network. Uh, here it says accuracy was 75 percent. All right, beautifully. Then I save my model. So just to show you, uh, then I load in an image of a cat and I tell the neural network to predict what is it. And the neural network predicts that, hey, it's a cat. Beautiful. This is the how powerful uh, a neural network is. You can use this. So basically, 
earlier when I did not make the library, I was doing all of that manually. You see, load the image, convert the into an NP and uh, then normalize the image. It was a lot of work. But now with the smart library that we just made, it is just three lines of code. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. The, com the complete article of uh, this would be on my blog, I believe. So if I just open my blog real quick. Uh, on my blog, there I, I am not sure if I uploaded the smart library. Oh yeah, smart lib that's for the uh, TF estimator API. So here is the code. But I did not use the smart library. I was doing all of that man uh, or did I? Oh yeah, I used the smart library here you can see. So I use the entire smart library step by step. It's given. Please leave comments if you have any questions. So this is this is, this is a blog about the library basically how to load images about the library. Uh, so what I'll do is basically this one. So this entire Jupyter notebook I will upload it on my GitHub account and um, the link to that library would is would be there in the description section below. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, learned something new. If so, do give me a like and subscribe to my channel in the next video we are going to make a neural network uh, to predict pneumonia from x-ray images so let me just show you what are we going to make in the next project and then i shall stop my video right here so we have a data set here so here you see if i just open any one so you see chest uh, these are the chest um, x-ray images and we will make our neural network to learn the chest x-ray image and predict whether it's a pneumonia or not that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you learned something new, most important. And in the next video, we're going to make uh, this uh, model to predict pneumonia uh, using Keras module. And we will also use my smart library that uh, will do all the job for us and make our life easy. Thank you for watching my video and hope you guys enjoyed it and see you in the next time. As usual, if you have questions, list your qu uh, questions in the comment section below and I'll see you. Uh, sorry, I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye.